What is up, YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench. Today, we are looking at a shit ton of abrasives, some wire wheels, carbide burrs. I mean, this company has it all. talking about is called benchmark abrasives big in the instagram scene they give away packages of flat disc all the time sometimes they'll have it to where they're giving away for free you just pay the shipping definitely worth it if you're on instagram and you see that deal take advantage of it i know i had a tool haul showing all this stuff now i've used enough of this stuff to where i can give you a really good idea of the quality we'll do a quick overview any kind of wire wheel you want they got before these I bought fairly cheap wire wheels. If you used a wire wheel, you know you better have safety glasses on and it's better to be wearing long sleeves because these suckers are coming at you. I'm not saying these don't do that, but they do it a lot less. They are a lot better made. It's just the nature of the beast with these things. They have these little quick clock discs in all sizes, but I really like these because just like it says, they're very, very quick to change. You wear one out, Boom, you just pop in a new one. And then look at this little cute thing they have for it. Little bitty flap disc. Isn't that nice? Again, for getting in a tight spot you couldn't normally get in. Quarter inch shaft for a uh, die grinder. Hell, you could even put in a drill. They sell a bunch of different discs just in packages. This is your aluminum oxide disc. Good for wood. You got your zirconium. Seems to me to be better for metal. Uh, and you can get these in two, three, I think one inch. Maybe even 4 inch, I don't know. But once you get up to 4 inch, to me, you might as well go to a, a resin fiber disc on an angle grinder. All kind of belts. Now, granted, I haven't used their belts yet, but seeing the quality of their other products, I have no problem recommending these. I mean, just their quality all around is, is far none better than you'll find in any Home Depot. Definitely any Harbor Freight. Lowe's, Track Supply. These people know their abrasives. And then, of course, like I mentioned before, you got their flap disc packs. Flap discs are great. I really want to try these ones. They got that the curve around the edges. They got them in 4-inch. I think they even have them on 2-inch that'll hook onto a drill. The big star of this show are these burrs down here. Now, they sent me a variety of burrs. These are actually for non-ferrous metals like aluminum. Bigger bite to where they're not going to clog up. A double cut like this, aluminum which is clogged this right up. You'll never get it free. A much bigger aggressive bite to them. And... I think they'll be pretty good on wood. And then you got your, your standard double cut burrs, quarter inch shank for a die grinder, and then eighth inch shank for a Dremel. I mean, they literally have them in every shape and size you could ever desire. It took me quite a while just to pick these out. I'm trying to think about the jobs I use them for the most. Like this one would be really good in the tight spots. I think I used this one up. Well, maybe it wasn't that one. And you got your little bitty guys for a Dremel. All double cut. All these double cuts are made for steel. So, I can tell you all you want to know about them. I can show them to you. But the best way to see it is to see one in action. So, this is the 1950s-ish table saw that I just got done restoring. And I want to smooth out these edges. You see how they're all jaggedy in the front and the back. And we're going to use the benchmark abrasive double cut burr to accomplish this task. I'll apologize to you right off the bat. The first video was shot in time-lapse mode. I don't know why, but I tried to slow it down to give you a look at how well this burr actually just tore away through this material. Granted, this is cast iron, so it's not a hardened steel or anything, but it literally took me maybe 20 seconds. So in the next video, we shoot real time. I just turn it on, first time touching this side of it and you're gonna see how quickly it just chews right through all this. Now I apologize, the camera angle isn't the best. You know I'm a tradesman and a DIYer, I'm not a videographer, so you'll have to bear with me. I think it shows good enough though how quick this is going through everything. You've gotta make sure you keep moving that burr or she'll leave a nice divot in the material. Now in a later video, I'm planning on buying a cheap set of carbide burrs off of Amazon that way we can compare brand new ones versus these quality ones because the ones I have are pretty used it wouldn't be a fair comparison but I just want y'all to see the difference that that these 
high quality burrs from benchmark abrasives really really do it surprised the hell out of me and you see i'm already done what was that 30 seconds all right guys so as y'all saw this thing just ate right through that shit i love having the option of having these this is not the best uh, electric die grinder but for what i need it for for the short periods of time and burst i use this thing in this little harbor freight one gets the job done for me definitely go out check out benchmark abrasives website they're definitely not the cheapest around they're not but you got the coin to shell out this is the way to go they make amazing products they're gonna last and i have no problem putting my name behind any of these products they're selling so until next time hit that like button hit that subscribe button down there and i'll holler at y'all next time peace